So this week has been a blitz week. And as you can see, we usually start with 12 people in the beginning and end with three. <laughs> it's just kind of how it is, right? What you put into anything is what you get out of anything. Okay, so I've already had people say, you know, I'm not ready to blitz or I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't necessarily want to commit to this blitz. That's all fine and dandy. We're not here to force people or make people build their teams. However, if you want to build massive, I mean, if you want five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand, then it's not like I'll work this on Friday when I've got time between one and three. It's staying consistent every single day, every single week, and every single month in our businesses. So what I'm noticing is fear is coming in and creeping up. So if you guys mm -hmm. noticed any fear today or this week, it's usually number one is I'm popping the question too soon. Number two is building rapport. And number three is infomercial with commission breath. So if you had to say one of those was one of your fears, Kathy, there's got to be a fear in your bones somewhere in your, I don't know what it is. You're like me. Uh, uh. My fear is being freaking shut down from Facebook. <laughs> um, I think one of the biggest things probably this week was watching the conversation and not pulling the trigger too fast. Being okay. in commercial breath, being yep. like, because a couple times I did delete it and I was like, let me go. Yeah. Well, I got this thing. You got to do this thing. No. So with that, keep in mind that enthusiasm is what sells. When you call someone, if I called you Kathy and I'm like, oh my God, Kathy, I know we're already doing 14 businesses together, but this is it. This is the bee's knees. We're going to make this. We're going to crush it. If I send you a link, will you watch it? I already have that rapport with you. And based on my enthusiasm, you're going to be like, send that thing over right now. So it just depends on who we're talking to. With the script that I shared with you guys, with you and, and um, Kathy this morning and Jamie this morning, I'm very excited. Like, hey, I'm going for a trip to Cabo. It's all expenses paid. I'm super, super excited. Will you just consider being my customer for 30 days? That, that's all I'm, I'm asking of you. You don't have to commit to doing anything after that. I will create for you a very inexpensive cart. You're already eating this food at the grocery store. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And you know what I did? I went to my mom's house and I had her send it to two of her friends. And both of her friends are looking at the, um, at the new uh, Real People, Real Results group. Because my mom did a post that she lost 16 pounds. I hear you. I hear your speaker, at least, Andrea. Can you hear me? Oh, I okay. Hear you. All right. Okay. <laughs> there is a switch here, but I need to turn on. I didn't know. That's so silly. <laughs> Just trying. <laughs> and I said, what's that? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Okay. So, Jamie, I know for a fact you're over there swimming in fear. If you had to put a name to it, what, which one? Popping the question too soon, building rapport, infomercial with commission breath. Um, I feel like I'm infomercial with commercial breath. Okay. Um, or, um, actually I was going to add to that fear of rejection. Mm -hmm. The second one, it might be the second one a little bit too, like building rapport. Cause I've done, there's so many, I've done something for so long and every, and a couple different things that I talk to somebody and they're like, what are you doing now? Or I'm not going to buy some, what now I, I don't need, I'm not going to buy these oils that I don't need from you or this or that, or, you know, just. Yeah. Yeah. So leave those people alone mm -hmm. and go into groups that are not network marketing groups, not work from home online groups. Go into groups that have something in common. Go into, like for me, I'm in a group called Arizona Mommies. And we're all like, hey, my tantrum is throwing a fit. How do you solve that problem, right? And we're just talking about Arizona Mommies. I'm in groups that are all about law of attraction. I'm Boys in book. Kids with the ADHD. Absolutely. And you're going in there and you're just having conversations and looking for friends 
that have things in common with you, at least five new friends a day. Okay. And then you write their names down and you have conversations with them. Here's the thing. We can have a slow start. Like Kathy and I were talking this morning, we are in so many conversations right now that we're not even starting new ones because these ones will drop and, and it's, we're not being fair to the person that we started a conversation with on Monday or Tuesday. And now we're like next week, oh shit, sorry, I didn't get back to you. Like you want it, you have to think of it this way. The person on the other end does not know that you just sent 50 messages out. In their mind, Jamie's got Julie on her mind and she wants to know how her family's doing and if COVID's affected her and, you know, weights, whatever, right? She only knows, her only perception is Jamie reached out to me. She has no idea you reached out to 50 people at the same time. So you want that conversation to continue to be authentic and organic. And then when you hear a pain, if you hear a pain, you can solve it. If you don't, you can get creative like I did and say, look, I'm shooting for an all expensive paid trip to Cabo. Will you just consider being my customer for 30 days? We have someone that's in the group that sells dog products. And I messaged her this morning and was like, hey, how are you liking the training? And she was like, oh, you know, I had some family challenges. I didn't get to attend everything. Are you gonna do it again? And I said, girl, this group's not going anywhere. We're doing this every single week. And I said, hey, I got two dogs. I'll be your customer if you'll be mine. And she was like, absolutely. And we've been talking all day long because I need supplements for my, I was literally going to PetSmart to buy stuff for my dog this weekend. Why wouldn't I support someone that's going through my training and has a small business? And it's not an isogenics. I'm going to get, I'm going to join her product. I'm going to go find two dog moms. I'm going to get that shit for free and I'm going to move on with life. Like I'm not going to build it. Right. So that was another way for me to be like, how can I get another prospect this week? How, but I'm, I'm looking at it as that's a win-win transaction. She's going to get me and I'm going to do her. And my dog may freaking thrive on these products. And then I'll go build a little team of dog bombs. Like how easy is that? Right. It has nothing to do with isogenics and food. And I'm already spending money on my pet. It's just supporting another mom. It's a win-win it's a win-win transaction, right? So think about that when it comes to making friends. You just want to make five to 10 friends on Facebook. You want their names written down. Okay, mine's, mine's a book and I have, I have an active leads list book that's highlighted. I have a happy birthday that's blank because I haven't even had an opportunity to go to the happy birthday ones. Then I have my Facebook, which is Penny, and I have current Isogenics trip to Cabo. So I have I'm I'm a little OCD when it comes to how I how I manage. I, I have organized chaos. <laughs> we'll call it that. I'm not exactly organized, but when it comes to people onboarding onto the business, I want to know where am I at with this person, where am I at with that person, and where am I at with this person? Or you don't have a business. You've got to be using that KPI tracker sheet, which I meant to print this morning and I forgot. I threw it away on accident last night. Well, and that was funny. I was looking for my leadership in action this morning and my KPI sheet. And because I work nights, yeah, I'm like, well, it was Thursday. Right? I somebody, do I count for Thursday night or Friday morning? Do I? What? Oh, it's a customer. I'm going to put them on the list. <laughs> yeah. Just remind but me I know it's video. So I was writing it down real quick. That's funny. Kathy, you cracked me up that way. <laughs> well, well, and I know, um, I have some little dis, you know, disorganized chaos, but that's what's on the, the top. Uh -huh. I'm saying here, you know, so <laughs> I'm yeah, glad I'm not alone. I'm yeah, glad I'm not wanna, alone. It's just glad we're all here. <laughs> you want to be filling that out though, because if you're not filling that out and that tracker out every single day in your business, you don't have a business. You can't run a retail store without checks and balances or a restaurant or any other brick and mortar. There is checks in the morning. There is checks at night. Trust me. I ran them all right? Mm -hmm. This is no difference. This is a business that we are running like a business. So we need to be tracking our numbers. 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. My, my conversation are dying very quickly and mostly because I'm not getting questions back. So it's quite short, ending up really soon. Yeah. And I'm surprised, like they are the wrong audience, right? Yeah, I yeah you're change. probably talking to other marketers. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure if they are marketers, all of it doesn't look like in the website, right? But I still struggling, where are those uh, clients? I'm still not really sure. They're in groups that are not affiliate marketing groups that are, they're in groups that, what do you have in, what do you, what's, what are you passionate about? Yeah, I, I love plants and I'm following the plants. And I was thinking, how can I make friends with those people? They are quite cold, like to make friends. Like even we swap plants with each other and things, but they just kind of like that. I don't know, maybe I haven't reached them out. I need to try to reach them and friend them and then see how is it go. Right. That's all you're doing right now. Right now, you're just friending people and making conversation. Mm hmm. And that's it. Not to sell Exodus, just to be friends with Barbara. Yeah. And then as your as your conversations continue, you can, you know, you can be a little more direct and say, Hey, Barbara, have you ever thought about having a home based business? I've got something mm -hmm. that I think you'd be, especially if you're, if you're in a plant group and you're exchanging plants and having conversations and you meet someone like me, or Kathy that's extremely outgoing and motivated and, and they have a job, then you're going to be like, listen, I don't know if you've ever considered a home-based business. I have something I think you would be absolutely incredible and freaking crush it. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's a fit for you. Are you open to having a home-based business? And if she says, yeah, you say, if I would you, if I sent you a video, would you watch it? Mm -hmm. And you send her the video. But okay. you got to listen for a pain point or if you see a potential in somebody where you can say, hey, listen, I know that, you know, you're not like for me, I sent a bunch of a bunch of messages that was like, listen, I know network marketing isn't isn't for you. I totally respect that. Um, but I'm looking for I'm actually headed to um, or I'm in a contest for an all expenses paid trip to Cabo would you consider just being my customer for 30 days? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a little different. You can't do that, mm. but you can yeah. say, you can, you can position it other ways, you know, Hey, I see you, uh, have a, like, if you're talking to another network marketer, you could say, Hey, I see that you're network marketing. How's it going? Are you interested in upping your online game? Because, you can sell them Exodus as an online digital college and not a network marketing opportunity. Like a lot of people that are in the coaching program, they never went and sold Exodus. They bought Exodus to get to me. The training, yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked Exodus as a platform to learn how to build my YouTube channel with my son. He wants to, you know, do YouTube. He want, I had to use Facebook and Instagram and all those, just how to use them better. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and then some of the other books and things that they're uh, content in Exodus, remember the value that Exodus actually, you know, brings in of itself too. Yeah. There's a ton of stuff in Exodus. So you have that opportunity, but you got to hear for a pain point. Or if you see someone that's a network marketer with, with crappy content and crappy engagement, then you can be mm -hmm. like, are you open to learning how to market your product better? I may have something, I may or may not have a, something that's a fit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if I sent you a video, would you watch it? Yes. I need to change uh, my, my angles. Your what? I need to change my angles. Like your to, angle? to really, yeah. 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 You probably need to change your audience. You're like Clive. You guys are all fishing in the same freaking pond and those pond are broke ass people that want to stay where they are and sell SAA and get excited over $25. And that's not who you want to sell to. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So number one, here's what you need to be doing every single day. Five things every single day. One, prospecting, attracting leads and making friends. If you don't like the word prospecting, then you use the word making friends. 
but every single day without fail, you are prospecting, attracting leads and making friends. You do not submit a friend request without submitting a message at the same time. Do not send a friend request without sending a message at the same time. Do not say, I like to surround myself with like-minded people. What does that even mean? Right? That means I've been doing it a long time and I've been doing it wrong. Totally. Like, what? How do you know I'm like-minded? I could freaking be a mm -hmm. serial killer. Yeah, that's, that's actually what I was going to say, but I didn't want to say the word murderer. <laughs> yes, you don't know. But what I like when people send it to me, I'm like, how do you know we're like-minded? Like, what, is that, what does that even mean? Okay, don't send that crap. Be professional, be personal. If you're sending someone a friend request, ask yourself why. Okay, if you're in a group of uh, Arizona mommies and I send a friend request to a mom because she says, hey, everybody having a really hard time dropping this mommy weight, I'm gonna send her a friend request and I'm gonna say, Hey, Monique, my name is Jennifer. We've never spoken before, but we're in Arizona mommies together. I'm sure people are spamming the crap out of your messenger. I definitely don't want to be one of those people, but I do, I would like to share my story with you if you're okay with that. I struggled with losing mommy weight and I was able to, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Set yourself apart. Send a message when you send the friend request. Don't send a bunch of friend requests to people. The same with accepting friend requests. If you're gonna accept one, because they're not sending you a message, you're gonna accept it and say, hey, Joan, thank you so much for sending me a friend request. What has you reaching out? I looked at your profile. It looks like you're from Hawaii. How is that? Oh, it looks like you're in Australia. I've got another client in Australia. Are you from there? right? Find ways to connect with them as a human being. Gotcha. Number two, connect with your people. Identify a need. Be a friend first and a marketer second. This is what I need you drilled in, Jamie. Be a friend. You're, you're just a professional. There's a guy that I'm following right now and he says network marketing is turning strangers into friends and friends into family. That's it. Yep. You turn strangers into friends first and then friends into family. It's not yeah. hard. Just go make a bunch of friends today. And everybody's my friend. I just have to show them and get them to see that first. Well, you need to get away from like, be my friend and be in my opportunity. Like it's, it almost comes from like a place of desperation yeah. instead of like, Hey, look, I got this really cool thing. I'm having a lot of fun with my friends. We do these power hours every day. It's super cool. I don't know. This could totally not even be a fit. No idea. But you've got a lot of energy. My coach is freaking crazy. You remind me of her. Are you open to a home-based business? Like you're just being human mm -hmm. and connecting and solving a problem. But this is where you have to hear and listen and not talk. See, yes. us humans... We're ready to say the next thing and we're not listening. We're not in the present moment. Cause mm -hmm. we're like, oh, I can't wait to tell her about a compensation plan. Oh, I can't wait to tell her about this. Oh, I can't wait to tell her about that. And we're not even mm -hmm. listening to what the person's telling us. Yep. And when we listen, then we can be authentic and say, you know, I know last week when we spoke, you said, you know, you were tired of dropping your kids off at daycare. How serious were you about that? Because I think I might have a solution for you. But you got to listen. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Number two, ATM groups, add tag message. Anyone who's interested in the product, you want to add tag message inside of real people, real results. Anyone who's interested in the collagen, you want to add tag message into the collagen let's glow. Anyone who's interested in Exodus or my coaching, they can come into this group first, Simple Online Sales. And then when we sell them into Exodus, they can go into 
3K in 30 day. Follow up and close. This part is where people get weird. Mm-hmm. What, what is that mm-hmm? I just know that that's how it usually is because people, me included, we talk too much. We don't shut up. And as they say in you know any sales, the person, well, like a car salesman will say it. Um, not that we're car salesmen, but the, the last person to speak usually loses. So, so you just shut up. Yeah. And it's all about posture and understanding. You have a solution to their problem. You don't need them to join your business. You have the weight loss. You have the collagen. You have the 1K a day system. But yep. we're positioning it like we need the commission. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you're coming from a place of lack energetically. And guess what you attract when you come from lack? People that someday, one day might, could be possibly, who knows? Yep. Right? So we need to come from a position of what I have is the greatest freaking thing since sliced bread. And it's $5.50 a day for two to three meals, depending on how often you use this product. Don't tell me you can't afford it. You just bought McDonald's yesterday, okay? What do you mean you can't afford it? How much money do you spend in prescriptions every year? How much money do you spend getting sick every year? How much money are you spending doing, you know, being sick? I guarantee you it's more than this product costs and oh, by the way, two people gets it for free. So it's not expensive. The first two people is going to pay you your investment back. You're helping two people get benefits and it's free after that. You don't have to build a team after that. Okay. You have the product and you need to leverage your upline, the ATM group and the, and people's stories. Oh, I've got this other single mom that works this around her kids' schedule and she's making six figures in a year. Would you be open to having a conversation with her? I like that. I've got another dad over here. I got another bodybuilder over here. I've got a nutritionist over there. I've got this over here. Always book a meeting from a meeting. Take them through the next step. For some people, it may take four or five, six steps to get them in. We think because they tapped the word info that they're sold on our product. They don't even know what we have. So we got to slow down and build a relationship. And then we need to plug them into a duplicatable system. So everyone needs the website, the isadreamteam.com. Right? For you, Andrea, you're going to plug them into 3K in 30 day and easy one up. You're gonna make sure that they know when the Zoom calls are and the trainings are. If I'm not in the easy. I'm not in the easy one. Up. Whatever you know what it. Access, okay. Yeah. Access, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Penny. They need to download Penny. Maybe not on what, day one. But they need Penny? to download the Penny. Um, Penny is an app that Isogenics has that gives us leads from uh, Facebook. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Can I use it too? Um, you could try. I should say sure if you sign up for Isogenics. See if when you go to your Google store, uh huh, it looks like um, this right here. It says Pen Penny oh, with a little okay. girl's head. All right, so it's in the stores. I can check it out. I think. I mean, I think it's a public app. I don't think it's isogenic specific. I saw doTERRA on there. They had it, but yeah. it, it wasn't just, I don't, I just don't think that there's much like content in there as far as shareable content. Cause the company hasn't really used much of it, but I think you can use it as a contact tracker. And that's what is I use it for is just a contact tracker. Yeah. Is it like that? Double N and Y. P E N N Y. Yep. Oh yeah. Thank I you. just, I didn't realize you'd put it in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Um, so you oh, want to make I sure see. that 
you want to make sure that they're plugged into the systems and then you want to power hour with them hey listen i want to get your two people within your first week i want to get this investment back for you and then from there if you want to build a team perfect that's cool but let's get your investment back and let's get two people under you so the product is free when can we schedule one hour together so that I could show you the tools and we can do this. And then help them get sales, help them get two people. Help them plug in. Andrea, you can plug them into my five day training inside the 3K in 30 day. Okay. December's Monday through Friday. This is not hard guys. It's, it's not just, hard, it's just a beginning. We don't really know and we don't know the feeling and we are not clear with the steps exactly. Like I know I am focusing too much, friending, connecting with people. I am in this area and I'm not in groups really. Like I haven't thought about really in the groups to go in the plans group and connect with people there. I'm trying different groups and, but not with not no luck. And I don't know in the groups like, like yeah I, I i just need to practice that part on the groups to commenting and friends. where are you finding your friends at my friends like you know um uh, like some of the groups i'm friending people from groups okay. but i was in the beginner of affiliates beginners yeah, and teams. not your people no i realize yeah and um and the the suggested friends and who requesting me friends, I, I betting them. And yesterday what happened, I tried one of this free up to accept the friend request and went like crazy. I said, Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to jail. I was panicked. Yeah, I'm in but jail. So I far actually, is fine. I got put in jail today for like an hour. Again. Oh. And I'm not even doing anything. You know, I think I think it's something going on with Facebook because I hear everybody everybody I think that they're, around they're shutting down selling from your profile they are i mean that's not a secret so we just have to be more cautious of how what we're talking about and how we we run our businesses because they mm. they don't want you selling a business they want you spending money on the business page yes yeah so, they, they don't want the organic one yeah it's very right. obvious now yeah so how are we gonna do it and how are we gonna move out from facebook then that's gonna be the question to move out from facebook no no you just have to do it like today i posted my mom is down 16 pounds loving this product i didn't mm. say it was isogenics i didn't say anything i didn't say what it yeah. was and then she did a post today about having a rough morning and and so glad that the um products ha are helping her feel good so she had people saying, Cheryl, what are you doing? And then from there, I'm teaching her how to say, you know, hey, would you, you know, are you open to taking a look? What are your health goals? You know, here's a group for you. I'm gonna tag you in a few videos. Is it okay if I three-way you with my daughter? She's been with the company longer than me and get her, her two people this week. Mm -hmm. Yep. You just have to start, yeah, just doing just that and not saying get this now or do you want this and really right. spammy just and putting more links on there and yeah putting links on there and saying you know i got this you know get this now or yeah yeah things like that yeah in our stories we can do some things but we got to be very careful and i didn't even send anything really in messenger so i'm curious why i because i got blocked from messenger today in fact let me see if i'm still blocked um once i get blocked both internet and messenger and i know that like uh, you can do the messenger separately as well from your account but i don't know how to do that see if I could send this to him. So maybe he could see that. <clears throat> but he is a friend of mine. And I sent him a message today and said, Hey, question, I'm actually working on a goal of an of an all expenses paid trip to Cabo, would you consider being a customer for 30 days, you don't have to build a team at all. 
And he said, definitely. I'm always interested in more vacations. Mm -hmm. If I can help, just let me know. Sorry, meant to say more money and vacations. <laughs> and he said, just let me know what it's all about. I would love to know more. Mm -hmm. And then I got blocked from there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I just sent him a message right now and said, I got blocked from you because he may not. Yeah, these other ones are frozen. I can't even delete them or anything. So he may think I'm, I just ghosted him and I'm trying to tell him I got blocked from him. Yeah, it's awkward. But the good news is you just start collecting emails and sending them emails or yeah, I have text to messages work. or WhatsApp, WhatsApp or Telegram or something like that. I have to work on it because like, as I said, it's nothing. I am really purely on Facebook at the moment. So yeah, me too. I, I'm never leaving Facebook. We'll figure it out. Mm, mm, I need yeah, to work fine. on it. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? Uh, like I just uh, put it on the things as well that uh, I get lost after three days. The third day is on my list. I'm writing it down. I'm making dots. But because I am adding new people as well to my list and deleting people in the meantime, I get lost. Okay. Why are you deleting so, anybody? Because I realize that they are not my friends. It's nothing. I'm, oh, I'm not okay. Not from your phone. So, okay. No, no, no. From Facebook. I'm talking about Facebook because I'm only doing it there. So I get lost. My list is just, I said, well, I don't know. It's just kind of something never Where ends because I'm always adding new people. And um, yeah. I did the same thing. I have a list right here. This, this is the original 55 that I sent on Monday. Okay. Right? I sent like, uh, this is 35. I sent about 45, 50 messages. And then the ones that responded, because now that today's Friday, I wrote on a brand new list. Because the ones that ghosted me, the conversations are still in my phone that they ghosted me, but I'm not going to keep them on a list. So this mm -hmm. is now trash because I rewrote them down on a cleaner sheet of paper. That's okay. That's a business. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. not a money-making activity. That's just an activity to keep your business clean and organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's totally fine. I, that's when I move and I wrote them on this paper and I wanted to keep them all inside of a notebook. Mm, I get you because so I, I'm, I'm marking those one who I'm sending the link for the video. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. using your video, but some people is not really coming back when I'm asking them, tell me when you have 50 minutes to watch the video. They're yeah, not, coming they're not back. your people. You're you, if you went to their feed, you're probably talking to a marketer. Mm. So I said, okay, if you're not coming back, I'm not going to send it. That's it. Move no, on. no, you don't want to. Otherwise you're, yeah. uh, John Meldon calls it Spamela Anderson. Don't be Spamela Anderson. Uh, <laughs> Spam I like that. Yeah. So you don't want to be Spamela Anderson. Mm. So that's fine. Yeah. Don't send the link until you say, Hey, if I will you, if I sent you this video, when you watch it, okay. When can you watch it? Okay. So by 2 PM, you'll have watched it. Great. Yeah. Here's the video. Mm -hmm. I have okay. someone I sent this morning. She's actually one of my daughter's friends' moms. And every time we see each other, she's like, I really want to talk to you about what you do. I blah, 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 blah. And she came to my birthday party. We had a great conversation. And today, I, uh, yesterday, we were talking about getting our kids together on Monday for a play date. And I finally said, hey, scale of one to 10, how serious are you? Because I don't want to bug you anymore. And mm -hmm. that, I, that's where I feel. And she was like, I'm very, very serious. I'm sorry, this and that and the other. And I don't have a computer. And I said, well, listen, I have an extra Mac that I, cause I was loaning a friend at my other Mac cause it, it's got a cracked screen, but it works fine. And I kept it when I got this Mac. And I said, I have an extra Mac. So if you join the team, I will lend you my Mac. We can work together. Cause she's friends is um, her daughter and my daughter are like best friends. They went to kindergarten and now they're in the same first grade class together. I'm like, well, freaking power hour three days a week. You'll have a computer. Mm -hmm. But she was like, okay, today's my mom's birthday. And I said, okay, cool. Message me tonight. If I don't hear from you tonight, is it okay if I follow up with you tomorrow? I asked permission. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. I'll send you the video tomorrow. And I'm not trying to sell her on isogenics. I want her to see the presentation. Mm -hmm. And even though she's a close friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't yes. overthink it. 
That's what I found. Um, yeah, and I, I think I wrote it down this morning that this week has given me um, intention, consistency, oh, and have to be passionate and driven about what I do, but not have any emotional attachment. Like it made a huge impact on me when Kim posted that somebody ghosted her on a Zoom. I was like, what? Somebody yeah, said Kim on Kim? You know, I, I'd be like buying internet off of a satellite to, you know, Zoom with her if she said be there at two. But, um, right. you know, so that's to, to remove myself. Like right now when my internet just crashed, I'm like getting on my phone with, uh, you know, whatever. And, you know, sending out a few follow-up messages, not freaking out. Before I would have been freaking out. You guys, like, my technology, I, I am blocked from doing videos. Yep. I am blocked from Facebook Messenger. I have had shit go down in the middle of a live. Yep. So you guys have seen. Like, I've had my computer crash in the middle of a coaching call. Who cares? Yeah. That's gonna take you out of the game. You ain't playing a game to win. It's gonna but, happen. But I, I just, you know, followed up on a conversation that I started Monday with somebody that I worked with 20 years ago when I started my nursing career. And she was like, oh, I used to love your energy when you were at work and you were so much fun. And I just mentioned that I used to work cardiac and that used to be fun to get the rhythms all crazy. But anyways, so <laughs> she's, you know, so now we're chatting and you know, if I sent you a video, would you? Yeah. They just put a Cabo trip on the table. I would love to go send it. Totally. So now we're just chit-chatting back and forth because I'm in the middle of a training that I can listen. You know what I did for my mom? Uh, for one of her friends today, that's at, uh, her name's Tabitha. And I sent her a message on my mom's behalf. And I said, hey, Tabitha, um, I don't know. What did I say? Hey, Tabitha, congratulations on your engagement. It's been a while since we spoke. Hey, listen. I don't know if you've seen what I've been doing, but I'm having a lot of incredible health results online and I'm actually working towards a financial goal. I was wondering if you'd consider being my customer for 30 days. It's one of my mom's coworkers from the convalescent hospital. I'm not asking for any commitment after that, just for 30 days. Help me shoot, help me hit this goal because she's not going to go to Cabo. But I do want to get her to like a thousand bucks a month, which is like six people. You know, it's so funny. I'm in this network marketing group and this one chick said it took me a hundred people to make $500 a month. And I just thought, oh my God. That's doTERRA. Just about. I know. That's why I told you, give me 90 freaking days and I will show you real money. You guys, I have 30 people on my team when I got to five grand. 30. And really I had 10 people with two. That's five grand. 10 people with two. Mm -hmm. which is 10, 15, 20. But because I had, you know, some people were ordering 100, some people were ordering 300, whatever. To get to five grand a month, 30 people. And most of them, they all reorder every month? No, I've had people so get much. returns. I've had people say, Jen, I've got like six people, six accounts that are inactive. Ness is inactive. Mm -hmm. I don't go after them anymore. I did. I used to get very emotionally attached to people. Jamie, you're lucky I love you. I'd have left your ass months ago. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. This chick's got so many excuses. I'm out of here. I try. You have it yeah. in you. I see it in you and so does Kathy. I just need to remove the logic of you thinking everyone's got to join your team and teach you how to be a professional friend maker. Okay, yep. That's it. Just Did listen it to people and solve their problems. I'm Did a problem this, solver. Did, the, did it work this morning, Jamie? Mm -hmm. I and know I my friend. We were done as soon as she was like, uh, the person wanted to talk to her and I was like, you don't freaking get out of that chair. You just made a sale. <laughs> you have run off of that energy and you send more messages right I, now. I sent that video to her and she said she'd take a look at it and research it, so. She's getting there. Yeah. And then, yeah. 
Well, and my friend, I did. I just finally told it, called her and I was like, I messaged her and I'm like, hey, we really need to talk. When can you, you know, chat? She's like, call me. And I was like, okay. So I jumped on the phone with her and I'm like, hey girl, this is something that I, I'm, I really think you could use. And we've talked about it before and stuff. And she's like, yeah, I'm working on some child support, this, that. I'm like, okay, here, I'm going to send you this cart, fill it out. You've, you've got 30 days to get two people or it's free and yeah. Yeah, you have two chicks in your gym picture. Why are they not helping you go to Cabo? Um, they're going to this weekend. I'm going to go talk to them because we have a game night tomorrow night. So yeah, listen, ladies, it's you're fun. my best friends. I just am asking for 30 freaking days. Try it out. The ones, yeah, looking for something. If you for, like it, you got some health yeah. benefits. If you don't, you get your money back. Who cares? Stop looking for builders and start looking for product users. Yeah. Okay. Well, and stop, I guess I need to not, well, I'm seeing it more of the value in the product because I've been seeing like, oh, I don't have like $200 for, you know, this extra food or do I, do I need this? Or, you know, like, which is really, it's like, it's really not, it's five fifty a day. It's not that much more and it's groceries, it's food. I'm eating it. It's good. It's helping me. Yeah, I have snacks. We can't it's afford not, it. I'm like, what are you not eating? Yeah. You're spending money on groceries. Here's the cheapest cart. Here's the cleanse pack. Just make sure it's a hundred BV. Mm -hmm. The the woman last night at work, I threw it out there. You know, I was in passing. It was probably four thirty five o'clock this morning, and I've learned that now. The job is my motivation. Every time I have a bad night, I'm like, I'm getting a customer. So I, and it was just you know, yep. me. I was like, so gave him the thirty day pitch. You want to be a customer? She says, well. I'm looking at like 50 bucks. Let me pull up the site. Boom. She bought a uh, everyday health pack. Yep. I just got online. I was like, oh, these cookies are good. Oh, I like this. I like that. What What do you want to do? Yep. So I could lose a few pounds. Oh, well, here's the everyday health pack. Perfect. <laughs> By the way, you got an hour next week. Let's go help two people and make sure it's free for you moving forward. Yep. Who doesn't want to do that? You know what no. made me successful? And that's what Kim always talks about. She talked, I have a no negotiable. We're going to get you two people and get your food for free. I don't care what you do beyond that, but it makes no sense for you to pay for this. Let's go get two people. I'll help you. Give me an hour. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And she never did that with her team. She never even thought to do that. She'd yeah. just go and roll more people. I know the power of duplication. You don't need a team... 5,000 down. You need 100 down, 5,000 deep. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, ladies, I'm going to stop the recording.